When President Trump meets South Korea's new president, Moon Jae-in, at their first Washington summit in June 2017, the two leaders will have a chance to forge a personal bond that could strengthen the U.S.-ROK alliance against growing North Korean threats. But the meeting also entails non-trivial risks. President Moon favors a departure from the current joint U.S.-ROK approach towards North Korea and return instead to a sunshine policy, the more conciliatory, engagement-oriented posture with which Seoul experimented during the Clinton and George W. Bush administrations. President Moon wishes to reverse, or at least suspend, South Korea's implementation of bad missile defense. He wishes to reopen the ROK-sponsored Kaesong Industrial Complex in the North, shut down by his predecessor on suspicion of was funneling money to Kim Jong-un's nuclear and missile program. Also, he seems uncomfortable pressing North Korea on its human rights violations. Last time round, sunshine policies caused U.S. ROK relations to suffer and North Korea profited. Will moonshine fare better? Stay tuned. To learn more about my take on North Korea, check the links in the description below. Also, let us know what other topics you want AEI scholars to cover in 60 seconds.